as someone who teaches on the course and directs it, picking those students who have that capacity not only to achieve excellence in their own field, but also be collaborative uh, and interdisciplinary in their mindset. We sometimes say we're looking for polymaths is, uh, is really a difficult part of my job. My name is Laura Secada. Hello, my name is Bifan. My name is Jess. <laughs> I'm Peruvian. My name is Sam. I'm from London. My name is Ridwan. Uh, I come from a small island called Bali in Indonesia. I'm Hamish. I'm from Australia. And my name is Laura West. Chirum Zondo. I am Zimbabwean. I'm originally from the United States. I'm Andrew Abraham. I'm originally from the Lake District in the northwest of England, uh, although for the last couple of years I've been living on the west coast of Scotland. I spent the last five years uh, in Texas <laughs> studying architecture. My academic background is social anthropology. I finished my undergraduate degree back in China in uh, international economics. My undergraduate degree was in environmental and geographical science at the University of Cape Town. Uh, I did my undergrad at Cambridge University in geography uh, and then I had a year working in a number of different places, um, some conservation, some sort of marine science uh, before I started the course here. After having graduated from the University of Cape Town I then worked for a bit. I worked in, um, in an international NGO, in World Wildlife Fund in Peru. Immediately before coming here I was working in a private management consulting firm. Teaching in Singapore for four years in a university called Nanyang Technological University. Uh, and in the Ministry of Environment of Peru working on red projects. I used to work as a surveyor for the Forestry Commission. After I graduated from college I moved to Alaska for a year and I worked for the American Red Cross of Alaska. Um, and that was where I first became interested in the intersection between climate change and extreme weather because I was working in disaster relief and I saw how extreme weather really had a significant impact on a lot of the communities that I was working in and how for a lot of them it was really difficult for them to build back after a disaster. Um, because I was working or doing research on informal settlements which is you know housing is a major issue in South Africa or rather the lack of housing for low-income people. So I think in that sense, I was really much exposed to some of the real challenges in terms of how do you develop sustainably as a city and how do cities plan very intentionally. Learning about how climate change was affecting extreme weather, I became really interested in how it will continue to affect extreme weather in more serious ways going forward. This MNC really spoke to me in that sense. It's, it's interdisciplinary. It's not just focused on the environment, but it's focused about how to govern and manage whether you're talking about cities or a community in a very sustainable um, way. Well, as an architect, I would like to um, definitely have a solid understanding about um, the environment and sustainability and where architects fit into that picture. The reason I chose this course in particular was because I had a little bit of a background in maybe more of the science side of stuff and I wanted to explore some of the further areas and how the science fits into the bigger picture of environmental problems. It's not a local problem. Uh, climate change is a global problem. China was famous for its pandas for a great wall, but now I think China is more famous for its air pollution. That's not the way we want China to be. So that's why I came here. That's one of the motivations I have to come here to study ECM. I hope I can make some contribution to my home country in terms of air pollution. I aspire to go back to my country to be to develop my career on energy sector because I want to, to be not only see but be a part of the transformation of the energy system in my country.